Welcome back to The Division 2. Me, Con, Pete and Lewis, as some of you would have seen, we managed to complete Legendary Difficulty. We run back through it today and from 3 hours 24 minutes, we got it down to 2 hours 16. And then we did it again and got it down to 1 hour 38 with one wipe on the boss. So with us as a group and with our builds, we are capable of doing it in roughly an hour and a half. It would be faster if there weren't revive glitches, if there wasn't green crosshairs popping up randomly, if the support stations weren't hidden in little corners when the healers dropped them. But putting all of the bugs aside, you'll see at the very end of this gameplay, I did get my hands on the exotic Big Horn Assault Rifle. I was the only one in the group to get it today, but we will be running it more often because we know we can get it done a lot faster. So hopefully the rest of the group will have it at some point in the future. Hopefully soon, sooner rather than later. But that is not my main topic. That's the title of the video. That's the thumbnail. That's the beginning. But I'd like to talk about another YouTuber. And I've done this in the past. I've done it to other people for other reasons. But I have to call out Epic Slayers. It has to be done. And... If I could give you any piece of advice, it would be to just go pick a million other YouTubers and watch them over watching his content because he is such an idiot. I don't care if he sees this and he hates it because he's never going to reply to it in any way, shape or form. He's not that kind of person. I don't know him in real life, so as a person, he could be nice to get on with. But in terms of doing this... You could say that it's classed as a full-time job for him. He does have another job outside of YouTube. He doesn't upload videos at the weekends. There's loads of other stuff behind it. But I'm not slating him as a person. This is what he does on YouTube. That's my only problem with him is the stuff that he does on YouTube. He covers news for the game, if you're not aware. He covers all of the latest info regarding stuff that's coming into the game. He's been putting out complaints on Twitter and he said it in videos that he's not happy with the exotic drops because he hasn't got any. Yeah, he's stating literally two minutes later into that video that he's only putting a couple of hours in every single day because he doesn't have much more time. Not only that, but he's playing hard difficulty. I know there are other players, I'm not saying anything bad about another player that plays on a low difficulty, but Epic Slayers is playing on hard difficulty difficulty sometimes challenging although you don't see much challenging footage from him and he's complaining about the drops being terrible from the footage i've seen on his channel he's now got the chameleon at level 40 but now he's done another video on the 16th of march saying that warlords has been out for just over a week it's not just over a week it's two weeks now but regardless of that, like literally, I, I only said that because my point is that he gets every single thing wrong that he ever talks about. But he's saying that he would like exotics when they drop because they have a factor of RNG. He would like them to drop and not have any difficulty scaling added to them. So when they drop on any difficulty, he wants them to have god rolls. Or not even necessarily god rolls, he wants them to have good rolls. So if you're running through story or normal difficulty, you've got an incredibly low drop chance. He wants it to be good rolls. Now I'm sorry, but there's already problems with the game. Legendary difficulty doesn't drop you that good loot. When you open a crate during a legendary mission, you're still getting purples. You're still getting like 2% crit chance. That's the hardest difficulty in the fucking game. And you still get shit. And now he's wanting for them to somehow increase it for him so that, like, well, for everyone else, obviously, but he's wanting it to increase so that people playing on hard difficulty have a chance at God roll exotics. I'm sorry to anyone that can't do the content at high levels, but for a YouTuber to be saying that, that covers this game and states in his about section that it's the most up-to-date gameplay and stuff. You can't be doing that sort of difficulty for content. If you're playing a few hours a day, fair enough, but as a YouTuber, you cannot play that low of a difficulty and expect people to listen to you and expect people to come to you because you're a voice of the community. You can't complain about difficulty and scaling. You can't complain about exotics when you're not playing the content that is required to get them. If anything, Legendary, when that drops you an exotic, that should guarantee triple god rolls. But I'm not going to sit there and complain, because there's no need to. We know there are problems. The developers are going to take forever to fix it. But it's not only that, the one thing that's really triggered me, and the whole reason I'm making this video, is because 
the most recent video talking about people being reset for their season levels, which is something new in the game now. At the very start of the video, he goes, oh, guess I'm one of the lucky ones, and starts laughing because he hasn't been reset. And I'd just like to break it if he ever does watch this video. You're level 22. It wouldn't even fucking matter if you did get reset. But for people that have grinded for hours and hours and literally gone through tough content to get their levels for the seasons and they're being reset, he's sitting there laughing because he didn't. And you can tell that he's got such a loyal viewer base because he doesn't have many dislikes on the video yet. So it's all of his loyal fans coming in to watch the videos right at the start. But then dislikes will build up. He laughed in everyone's face because he hasn't been reset and they have. But then, that's not even the reason. The main reason for this video, and this, I, I couldn't help but laugh at this because it's so stupid. Bear in mind, I'm going to say this again. This is someone that has covered the Division franchise since Division 1. He's running Federal Emergency Bunker in his latest video. He's running the mission on challenging difficulty, gets through the first section, and everyone that's played through the story, you don't even have to have grinded, like, endgame stuff. If you've played through Federal Emergency Bunker once, you should remember this. When you drop down one of the sections, it's fairly early on in the mission, you get to this fan that's spinning around. There is a power box on the right hand side. You need to shoot that power box to get the fan to stop. New players to the game, totally understandable. It could be a little bit of a struggle. You will get it eventually. But for someone that has covered this game from the day of launch and covered the previous game in the franchise, he was shooting the middle of the fucking fan. What makes it even worse is the fact that after he struggled, he backtracks, goes all the way back up the ladder, thinking there's going to be something in a different room. This is your job. This earns you money. This brings you in income. You don't know anything about what you are doing. And it might make me sound like a bit of an asshole. And some people are going to say, oh yeah, but he's bigger on YouTube than you are. You're just trying to gain subs out of this. I don't care. Couldn't care any less. I just don't want the Division 2 community, or gamers in general, go into a channel that's got nearly 50,000 subscribers that doesn't know anything about the game they are playing. Especially when every single, well, almost every single title says news. There was a video I watched a couple of weeks ago from Epic Slayers, the Division 2 news, like tower defense game, and something else, and literally... Within 20 seconds of the video, he said there is no tower defense game and there is no news in today's video. Yeah, he's putting news in the title and talking about a tower defense game in the title. He's literally, his channel is all over the place. And I'm not going to say don't watch Epic Slayers. Obviously, it's down to anyone who's watching this video, who watches him, whatever. But I would just like to make you all aware that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He shouldn't have this YouTube channel. He shouldn't be covering news at all because he doesn't know what he's talking about but that's my rant over i managed to get the big horn i'm hoping to get the rest of my group the big horn at some point in the near future we will be continuing to run legendary there could be streams and stuff coming soon we just need to try and figure some things out and not only that we're trying to grind for the league as well which is new in and then we'll have the global event and there's other footage and stuff that i want to cover but for the time being that's going to do it for the video let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.